Hi, Park Ridge. I come to you today with a word of encouragement and a prayer. The word of encouragement is found in Psalm 19, verses 7 through 14. Here is the word of the Lord. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. Who can discern his errors? Declare me innocent from hidden faults. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. What a good word to remember the greatness of God the beauty of God, the majesty of God, the awesome leadership of God, the forgiving power of God, the authority of God, all the things that God has for us, they're given in spite of us that we might receive them and become the children of God, be changed by his awe-inspiring power and presence in our lives. I hope that you will be encouraged today in the midst of probably a very busy week for you. We're praying for you and hoping God's best for you. And with that, I want to pray right now. Lord Jesus, thank you for the men and women who are watching this video right now. And I pray your leadership and direction in their lives. I ask that you would fill them full to overflowing with your spirit. That they would trust you and understand the plans and the precepts and the directions that you have for their lives. And that all of us, Lord, those of us who know you, would be found faithfully following after you each day as we walk the life and the plan and the path that you have for us. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for your authority. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you that you rose from the grave and we too are now given the opportunity to live with newness life. I pray that our lives would be a testimony of your grace and your glory. I pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. See you Sunday, Park Ridge.